Today we are going to discuss about the load curve and load duration curve in the power system operation and control. Load curve. Load curve is a curve plotted between uh, load and time. So, take uh, load in y axis and uh, time in x axis. Based on the load variation, we can plot a graph that curve we call it as a load curve. So, this curve shows the variation of load on the power station with respect to time. The load on the power station varies from time to time due to uncertain demands of the consumers. This load curve may be a daily load curve, monthly load curve or yearly load curve depending on the period consider. So, the daily load curve is obtained by plotting the load variation on the power system during the whole day that is uh, the 24 hours a single day we are considering for 24 hours the change in load if you draw and plot that we will be getting the daily load curve. So, this curve is used to monitor the load variation in 24 hours and also it can observe the maximum demand. So, for example, in this uh, load curve we can observe that the maximum demand is 80 megawatt which occurs during the time 8 am to 12 noon and monthly load curve it can be obtained from the daily load curve of that particular month. So, this curve can be plotted by considering the average value of power over a month that is 30 days and this curve is used to fix the rates of energy for a particular month how much energy is consumed. So, that can be fixed using the monthly load curve and yearly load curve. So, yearly load curve is obtained by considering the monthly load curve. So, for 365 days and 12 months we can calculate the power consumed and this it is used to determine the annual load factor. So, the load curve gives uh, the following informations. So, first one is the variation of load on the power system during uh, different hours of a day and uh, the maximum and minimum value of daily load and annual maximum minimum values of the load if it is a yearly load curve and average annual load on the station and whether the installed generating units are working efficiently or not. So, this can be analyzed using the load curve and this load curve helps to prepare operating schedule in an economic manner which generator to operate and based on the load requirement load demand uh, we can shut down uh, some, some of the unit and make that as a economic load scheduling. And next one is the load duration curve and this uh, load duration curve is obtained by arranging the load elements of the load curve in descending order and it can be drawn with the help of the same data which is used to draw the load curve. So, consider the load curve and now we can draw the load duration curve here based on the data available in the load curve. In descending order we are going to draw. So, here you can see that 80 megawatt is the maximum load and that lies between 8 am to 12 noon that is uh, in between we are having 4 hours. So, 4 hours the maximum demand is 80 megawatt. So, up to this 4 hours. Then after that the second maximum is 70 megawatt. So, 70 megawatt is also lies for 4 hours. So, it comes down and for the next 4 hours 70 megawatt. Then next one is 40 megawatt. So, 40 megawatt here it is uh, 6 to 8 2 hours and here it is 12 to 16 4 hours and the totally it is 6 hours. So, 40 megawatt for 6 hours. Then 30 megawatt from this part it is 0 to 6 hours totally 6 hours and here 16 to 24 hours. So, the remaining 10 hours is 30 megawatt of load. So, this is how we need to draw the load duration curve from the maximum to minimum that is in that is the load in descending order. So, here it is 80 megawatt and here it is 70 and here it is 40 and finally, here it is 30. So, like that we can draw the load duration curve for monthly curve and for a yearly curve. This is a complete diagram of the load duration curve. Load duration curve gives the following information. So, with the help of the load duration curve, the units generated on that particular period can be obtained easily. So, consider this uh, load duration curve. Here, the maximum demand is 80 megawatt for uh, 4 hours. Okay, So, units generated will be equal to 
80 into 4 and the next one is 70 and 70 megawatt for 4 hours 4, 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock so 70 into 4 plus 40 megawatt it lies between 8 am to 2 pm so it is 6 hours so 40 into 6 plus from 2 o'clock to night 12 o'clock so totally 10 hours 30 megawatt so 30 into 10 so you'll be getting the units generated as uh, 1140 megawatt hour so if you convert that into kilowatt hour so it is uh, 11 lakh 40 thousand kilowatt hour that is 11 lakh 40 thousand units for this particular load duration curve and the maximum demand and minimum demand can be observed easily by the load duration curve so while seeing this we can see the maximum demand is 80 megawatt and the minimum demand is 30 megawatt and this curve can be extended to monthly curve just by multiplying it with 30 days so 24 into 30 so we'll be getting 720 hours and yearly curve 24 into 365 days we'll be getting 8760 hours so using this curve we can obtain this information <laughs>